In this video, I'm going to review the ordinary mandelic acid and I'm also going to share some before and after. So make sure that you are watching this video until the end. My name is Melissa van Dijk and let's get started. Now let's see what the mandelic acid can do for you. Now it is a formulation that offers you gentle exfoliation. It is good for all skin types. And it will help you if you have dullness, uneven texture, fine lines, wrinkles, acne and blemishes. And it's suggested that you're going to apply it once per day, ideally in the evening, and it can be diluted with other treatments to reduce strength until the skin develops tolerance. Now let's see how the skincare regime could look like if you're going to use the mandelic acid. Now this is a suggestion that I can show you if you have dry combination skin. And for AM, you can start with a caffeine solution, then hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, the magnesium one, and don't forget a good sunscreen afterwards. Now for the evening, again, going in with the caffeine solution, hyaluronic acid, then use the mandelic acid, and then finish it off with a good moisturizer. Now let's see how you can apply it. Now this is what the mandelic acid looks like and I haven't been using a lot of it for the two months I've been using it and it also has the handy pipette as the usual ordinary products so that you really can control the amount of product that you're going to use and I can promise you with this one you don't need a lot. Now the main issue that I had with the mandelic acid was the pilling situation, which means that if you're going to apply it, you will experience some like little flakes coming off your face and it looks like, like that skin basically. And I personally thought that because it's an exfoliator that this is what it should do, but it was so annoying because I would finish off with a moisturizer and this would make it worse. And so I started to ask the ordinary team and said, hey, look, this is what happens. This is what it looks like. Can you help me? What am I doing wrong? And they told me that also because I'm using the hyaluronic acid, that I should go down with the drops I would use with the hyaluronic acid, would uh, use less with the mandelic acid, and instead of rubbing it into the skin, I should tap it into the skin, which basically makes a difference in application so that the flakiness wouldn't appear. But I also figured out for myself a way on how you can make it work. So because you are supposed to use this product in the evening and I'm taking in the evening my shower, I figured out that if I'm going to use it directly after the shower, once my skin is still damp, it would give you the best results, as then the peeling wouldn't appear. And so this basically means that you're going to uh, like go into the shower or wet your face and then tap it dry just a tiny bit, not completely dry. And so I have this wet cloth right here. I'm going to now dampen my skin so that it won't happen. And because this is also a gentle exfoliator, some people might be confused if you should take it off or not. Now, I have to say, I had the same question, but you are not supposed to uh, wash your face after you have applied the mandelic acid. Just let it sink into the skin and apply the moisturizer on top and then go to bed. And so once the face is damp, I'm going to use two drops of the mandelic acid, as this is how I figured out that I still could use a tiny bit more, but still make it work. And this one has a little bit more of an oily texture, but it still feels really nice for my personally dry combination skin. I don't have any issues with how it feels and how it applies now that I've figured out how I can use it correctly. Now I also do would like to suggest you that if you are thinking of changing something or combining two products that you aren't sure if they are going to work with, because this is what happened to me, as I was looking for a richer moisturizer that I can apply afterwards. And then those breakouts came uh, to like 
basically visit me and try to uh, destroy my skin. Now, I'm really um, like wanted to suggest you that if you're going to change some products within your skincare routine or you want to try a combination of two products, start slowly or start with individual products to see how your skin would react with them if you're going to use them on its own and then combine them so that you're really making sure at the end of the day that your skin likes the products that you're going to use and the combination as well because this was what happened as I wanted to change the moisturizer and it basically didn't work out for me so I just wanted to warn you that it's not going to happen to you as well now, now I would like to share with you some before and afters. Now, as some of you might know, I started using some of the ordinary products two months ago. And this is where I experienced like a massive change in my skincare routine, as this was the first like truly larger skincare routine that I've ever tried. And so from day 15 to day 31, you still see my skin was amazing. And this is also what I achieved by using like the right products in an order so that they are also working together. Because if this isn't the case, then you definitely will see that something's going to change during the process of your products that you're using as well as how your like, skin changes. As this is what happened from day 32 to until basically now. And this is where I started using different acids and different serums to see how they would perform. And also lastly, I started using a different moisturizer, which was the Avena moisturizer, that didn't really work out with the rest of my skincare routine, which for some reason just changed everything and it broke me out quite a lot. Which basically brings me to the point that if you are changing something in your routine or you want to try something new, be careful and start slowly. Now, as I'm sure that I'm not the only one who has tried the mandelic acid so far, I just wanted to read some reviews that I found on popular websites, which were also the most helpful ones. And so I'm going to start off with the first one, which it basically says that it's apparently not good for oily skin. Um, I don't know. I don't have any oily skin. And uh, she he felt a difference in a few days. And she also kept using it until the skin broke out. And this is also where she stopped it because she uh, had read on the ingredients that there's mineral oil in it. So far, I know I don't think that mineral oil does break you out. So it might be something different. But everyone has their own experience. And I don't know what that person is using with it. Moving on to the next one, where she ended up getting a super bad stress breakout along her face and also neck area, and then she put it on twice. The first time she put it on, it basically was to 80% gone, and the second time, the whole breakout was gone. So she was really happy on how it performed. The only problem was that it is very sensitive if you get some sun exposure. Now, this is also the main reason why I believe that they also recommend you using it in the evening evening and not during daylight because of the sensitivity. And now for the last one, this person basically says that it didn't work out for his or her skin. The only good thing about it is that it's apparently helped with close commandos and that it helped with most of the time to keep the skin clear. But this serum flakes and uh, like basically flakes like crazy and it gets worse with a moisturizer. Well, this is the issue that I had too. But once you figure out how you can make it work, then you're really happy with it because it does do a pretty good job. Now, those were the reviews that I wanted to share with you so that you have an overall idea on how it performs. I do have to say that the peeling effect is really annoying, but just make sure that you're like applying it the right way and then you have no issues with it. Now, this was the review that I wanted to share with you guys. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. This is an independent channel, which means I'm buying the products with my own money. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.